In this tutorial, we're looking at 3D. So I've got my design open. We'll just create a quick 3D here. And here we have it. And now in your 3D, I don't have a global set, so this is just our standard cabinet. Now you'll notice I'm moving it around here. If you move your mouse out to the middle of your 3D screen, you can uh, hold down your left mouse button. And as you move your mouse, it will move the screen with you. Now if you hold down your right mouse button and move your mouse, you can rotate. All these features work off of our buttons up here on top too. Rotate, move. We've got zoom in and zoom out capabilities. We've got, of course, save to file. So if you were going to email a customer this information, you could save it. We've got print. So once you get it scrolled around here and looking the way you want it, you can click the print button to get it to print. We've got door style. If we click on door style, this opens up a little global selection window. And here we can come through. And if we've had our global sets global specifications already selected they would be filled out in here but because I don't it's telling us that we need to click to select so we're just going to come through and put something in here real quick let's see door styles we'll just do this one keep it all the same all the way through and select our paint or finish no glaze no technique and you don't have to fill each one of these it'll it'll you'll notice it regenerates every time so if you don't fill them all out that is just fine too And there we are. Hickory with a different door style and a pull on it. Our next one here is countertop style. We can come in here and change our countertop. So we want to lighten it a little bit. There we go. So new countertop. Same thing with our flooring. Put something different on the floor. And our walls as well. Oh, let's see, what do we want to put on our walls? Let's do yeah, I think that'll work. It's a little yellow for everything that we got going on here, but there we go. That one looked better. Okay, so I got kind of a wild combination of colors going on. And ceiling, same thing. We can set our ceiling style. Uh, I'm just going to leave it for now. We've got hide invisible walls. Now you notice as we rotate around here, this wall disappeared as we rotated it into view. So we come on around, this wall disappears. You notice the cabinets are still up. Okay. So if we click on the Hide Invisible Walls button, you notice those cabinets there just disappeared. As I rotate around, not only is it going to remove the walls, but it's going to remove the cabinets that are attached to those walls as well. This makes it really easy if you're needing to get specific pictures to send to a customer. Open closed doors. This will open and close the doors. Uh, if you open and close the doors and drawers on these, you may notice if you have a rollout base in there that it's not showing the rollout trays. Um, not all catalogs have the 3D interiors fully um, integrated. Uh, that is something we're doing this year. As we update catalogs, we're integrating the 3D um, interiors to them. It was an option last year, and not everybody took us up on the option like we were expecting, so this year we're just doing it. Okay, refine. You notice how the top of my wall here is a little jaggy. Everything's just a little bit jaggy at this particular angle. Now I could move it 
a little bit right and left until it smooths out because just moving a few pixels will, will do that. But it's a whole lot easier to come up here and click my refine button. You notice how it smoothed everything out. Our next button is light. Here we can come in here and we can play with our lighting. We can turn it up and down. We can set different lights. We can set how we want them to shine. Might want to shine them just up at the floor or down at the ceiling. Whatever. But I'm just leaving them like this. HD. We click on the HD button. This generates us a high def image here. And again, you can select your lighting. Seems that we need to always be a little bit brighter with these lately. And you can set whether you want your countertop to be glossy or matte, your floor covering, same thing, your ceiling and your wall covering. Um, this is the default form. We find this works very well. You can turn off your uh, maximum image quality. It does take a little bit longer to render, but it will still render. And preview of that will tell you how much brighter it's gotten. And the render button will cause it to render a high def 3D. Uh, that window will then be saveable, so you can save that image. Well, you cannot rotate in high def, so you want to have it rotated around the direction you want, get the picture you want before you click on high def. And then finally, we come to the last one, which is exit. Clicking that takes you back to Pro Kitchen. So there is 3D in six and a half minutes.